Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so this isn't going to be an episode where I take off. No, I, I actually got a lot of stuff planned. So one of the things we will be doing this episode, at least trying to, is I think we got a good amount of fuel on here, and I think this is probably more than enough to refuel the Jewel for Explorer 14. So... We will be heading out there very shortly. I ended up refueling this thing. It wasn't really... There was only a little bit left, to be honest. Um, it was, I mean, empty, I should say. So it wasn't really that bad. The number one thing I will say that was a little bit of a problem is I basically have to do launches to get fuel up. So it is a little annoying. So, But, you know, right now... Um, I've been having a little bit of fun with this. I'm glad you guys are, you know, still okay with the unmodded series and all that other good stuff. And, you know, everything's going pretty well. The one thing I will say is I get a really, really good frame right here compared to the Jewel 15 Explorer on the modded series. I think that has to do with um, just the amount of mods installed and everything else and... The game just taking a poop on me or what have you, I, I don't know. But it, it basically, uh, we get a lot better frame right here than, than we did before. I was wondering why um, this has shifted over a little bit, but I remember I basically updated the node. So let's fire this thing up. Oh my sweet Jesus. This thing is very stable to be honest. It, it really doesn't have that many problems. Let's see if we're uh, lined up right now. We're probably not. We're probably off by a degree. There we go. I'll just kind of knock this over a little bit more. That, that's that's more than perfect. So yeah, this thing has pretty good control, though, I will say. We got a fairly good amount of Xenon. I don't know if that's going to be more than enough to actually replenish all the Xenon on our Explorer. But... You know, I, I will probably end up basically sending up a separate mission just to replenish all of that fuel. So we're going to start our nice long burn here. We're not going to actually go to the Jewel 14 Explorer, but we're basically going to do a burn till we get out a little bit past the moon. And then after that, I will send out my refueler and I will see you then.
And we have arrived guys this is going to be like our first real refueling mission the one thing i will say is i don't know how many more of these i will actually record because i know they get a little bit boring for you guys so that's all i'm gonna say and yeah it's just been this has just been crazy that's all i gotta say i really hope we don't hit any of these solar panels so yeah this thing is Holy crap, it's huge. I, I don't even remember how big this thing actually was. Every time I see it, though, I get a little giddy. I'm like, yeah, that's amazing. So let's go this way since we kind of need to go this way to dock. I'll bring this down. Come on. Come on. This thing isn't really cooperating that much. So we need to go down a little bit, too, because we're actually heading up. I don't want to impact any solar panels that would not be good there we go come on bring us over i was going to dock actually right up front here but what i'm going to end up doing is redesigning and making a new lander system for this as well i don't know exactly how i'm going to set that up but it definitely is going to be something 
worth worth marveling. I, I I don't exactly know. I I kind of am going to really design it based on where it is we're going to be going. So. If we're going to go to Moho, I haven't actually done a landing on Moho before, so... Oh god, oh god, we are going to pass our docking, oh god. Good thing we have, like, way more RCS fuel than what we need. Come on, come on, come on, come on, stop it, stop. I'm not really paying attention that much. I, I really should. Also, I remember, I don't remember who it was, but they're always, like, complaining about me putting my docking port, or my, uh... RCS block thrusters on 45 degree angles and yeah there are times where stuff like that like you know would actually help me and uh, it's not helping me right now that's uh, that's all I will say I probably should just go into chase uh, chase cam because that would probably would benefit this kind of a situation yeah I think I'm going to do that chase to the rescue Oh, there we go. So this should help it out a little bit more. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, this way. And up. We need to go diagonally. Now this works, I guess, because we're going diagonally. It kind of shifts everything over a little bit. We don't need to be going this way so much. Just speed this up here. Ooh, we're getting close to the panels. Shift over. Who would have thought it would be so hard to dock? I, I really thought I, I really didn't think I was gonna have any problems. At least docking up with this thing. But this is looking pretty good. I we we can get away with this pretty much. I, I really don't think there's really gonna be that that much more of a problem here. I just don't want to be heading too close to this thing. This ship is a pretty amazing, but I don't really trust myself sometimes with uh, docking and everything else. Sometimes I just, I have derpy moments, put it that way. Go down a little bit. That should fix everything. Because we're kind of off-center. Not by much, but just a little bit. I just don't want to go flying past the thing. That, that, that would not be good. Alright, go this way. Come on. There we go. We're just like perfectly lined up now. Now we just gotta slow down. Come on. Come on. Oh god. Yeah, this thing isn't really 100% controllable. That That's all I'm gonna say. Come on. Go, go, go. Duck up. Uh, it's much easier to dock for me when, when I actually can see where this... Uh, I, I don't even know what that... The, the, the prograde, I guess, marker or whatever you want to call that... Uh, it's much easier when I can actually see that. Come on. I always forget the names of all the, uh, basically all, uh, a lot of the stuff in this game I forget the name of, and then I end up remembering way long after I'm off camera. So it looks like we actually have about a fourth of the fuel. I mean, once I transfer all this, we'll have about a little under a fourth of the fuel that this thing actually needs. And I think the tanker itself has about roughly something along the lines of 30,000 fuel on it. So I think we're going to be okay on the fuel. We might have to make one more trip. At least I'm thinking that's how it's going to be. And I, I'm not you know, 100% certain with all this, but that's the way it looks for right now. But... Dear God, do I have a lot of refueling to do, and I really don't know how I'm going to get it all done. Not to mention, I'm not sure exactly how I want to do this, because I don't really want to drain tanks completely on some of these ships. Like, the refueler itself... Ooh, okay, these solar panels are pulled in. I wonder why. I, I don't... There's got to be a reason why I did that, but... Um, 
I don't want to leave tanks on these things completely dry where like the Kerbin refueler or the Kerbin fuel tanker I don't want to leave dry because it just isn't it's putting it in a really bad position basically and I, I have no other way of powering that thing whereas this thing has ion engines and I can slowly if I wanted to just ferry it back to Kerbin just slowly and get it down to uh, you know maybe somewhere around like maybe a million kilometers away or something along the lines of that the the Kerbin tanker does not have that kind of a feature in any kind of way so it's pretty much screwed if it, if, if if I lose all the fuel on that so it looks like where we are I, I, I'm not going to take the fuel out of these tanks because I still want this thing to actually have enough fuel to kind of have some kind of leeway in case some kind of problems happen. So we got basically this, all these engine tanks here completely full, the whole, all the center tanks, which I think I might end up transferring a lot of this to the center. I'll do that probably off camera because I like to just kind of fill up one whole row and then the next and then the next. But... Basically, I got a lot of refueling ahead of me, and I don't know how long this is going to take, so anyways, guys, if you like what you see here, subscribe, there's always more to come to all you new people, welcome, and uh, yeah, I will see you next time.